channel. It's Sunday meal prep day, Sundays with Danielle. Time to make an easy recipe so you have lunches or dinners for the week. Today we are going to be making Weight Watchers chicken broccoli bake. Um, during my last meal prep video, I said to everyone, hey, if you have any ideas of something that you'd like me to make, please let me know and I can um, take it into consideration for one of my next videos. And one of my wonderful subscribers, Sharon, said, Hey Danielle, can you make like a chicken broccoli rice bake? Well, this is not a rice bake. It's with, made with um, shredded hash browns. So I, it's a little bit of a twist on it, but I thought, hey, let's make this. This recipe looks really good, really easy and yummy. So Sharon, thank you so much for being such a wonderful subscriber and for being so supportive of my channel. You're always commenting and saying the nicest things and I really appreciate you. So this one's for Sharon today and for all of you to enjoy out there. It's called WW Chicken Broccoli Bake and it's two points on purple, three points on blue, and four points on green. There are six servings per recipe. And as you guys know, I am doubling this up because I wanna have this for Sunday dinner tonight, and then I wanna have enough for my lunches for the week. So you will see me doing a double recipe of this. Um, so you don't, you don't have to do that. You can follow it exact, and I'll have it linked below. So let's get into this. What's in this recipe? First of all, there's chicken in it, chicken breasts. Um, I've got them cooking right now in my toaster oven to get that rolling. So all I did was just spray a little pan, put a little salt and pepper on it, and they're baking away. And then I'm going to shred them off camera so we have some nice shredded up chicken. So you're going to need some chicken breast. You're going to need some broccoli. You're going to need some hash browns, frozen hash browns. You're going to need some light cheddar cheese. This recipe calls for fat-free mozzarella cheese. I don't buy fat-free cheese, I'm just not into it. Mozzarella is low fat naturally, so I'm just using regular old mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's, and I'm not even changing the points on it to tell you the truth. You can add an extra point or something, but I'm just using mozzarella cheese. That's what makes it easy for me. Um, you're gonna need some light margarine. You're gonna need just a little bit of flour to thicken the sauce. You're gonna need some almond milk little bit of salt and some breadcrumbs. That is it. And I'm going to be making two batches in a little dish like this. We're going to bake it away and have Sunday dinner and meal prep for the week. So come along with me. Let's make this easy recipe. This sounds delicious, homey and filling. Okay guys, I've got the oven turned on to 350 and I have sprayed both of my casserole dishes done down with some spray and I'm making a double batch. Hopefully this is not confusing to you guys. We're learning as we are going, but as you know, I like to make double batches. I've got my butter, I'm sorry, my light butter um, heating up in the pan here and we're going to add our flour and make like a little roux. So we're going to add our flour. We're going to make like a little sauce. And we're also going to add some salt to this too. So just a little bit of salt, season as you like. We're going to get this butter and flour kind of cooking together to kind of make like a little sauce. And we're just going to whisk this around like this. Let me just get all that incorporated like that. Okay, now we're going to add our almond milk to the pan. We're gonna be making our little sauce for our casserole right here. Okay, I'm gonna stir this together and I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'll show you the next step. All right, it's starting to bubble up. I'm going to turn it down to medium and we're gonna add our reduced fat cheese and melt that all in and we're just making a nice sauce get that melted in. And remember, I am making a double batch. So if you make one batch, you won't have as much of this like I do. We're just gonna incorporate it and try to get all that flour incorporated and broken down. Get that cheese melted. And I love Trader Joe's reduced fat cheese. It has really good flavor. Okay, that looks melted to me. Now we're going to add the hash browns, the frozen hash browns. The so I think this is gonna be so good. Kind of like one of those really homey Stouffer ones that you buy, but yet this is gonna be so much more healthy. All right, I'm gonna let this cook down and then I'll show you the next step. Right, let's finish assembling this casserole. Um, what I did is I took a fourth of the mixture, mixture and put it on the bottom. It just coats it. A fourth of the mixture just kind of coats the bottom of it. Then we're gonna add our broccoli. All I did was take fresh broccoli, put it in a microwave safe bowl with a little bit of water, and I cooked it for five minutes just to kind of soften it up a little bit. 
So it's nice. Instead of using frozen broccoli, if you can use fresh and then just cook it, it is so good. So we've got our broccoli. This is going to be colorful too. Okay, got that. And then we've got our chicken breasts. I've got some nice organic chicken breasts. Just cooked them in the, um, what do you call it? The uh, toaster oven, my easy way of making it. So I'm just taking half of this mixture and putting it in our casserole dish. So this is really, really healthy. And the, the, the almond milk, what a great take on just making it um, a, a creamy recipe using almond milk instead of half and half. And it's six servings per one of these containers. And of course, if you want a larger serving, just add extra points for it. Okay, so we've got our nice chicken breast cooked. My house smells so good right now. Oh, and when I was making the sauce, I did add a little extra pepper because I like everything peppered. Um, so feel free to add some pepper. I think it does give it a little extra yum, yum, yum. Okay, and then here's the rest of our mixture. Let me do my best to try to half and half this. I'm just gonna put this on top. And I love the, the take on it of using hash brown potatoes instead of rice. That's kind of fun, something different. And we'll take the other half and put it over here to cover this. I think this is gonna be delish. This will make a great lunch for meal prep for me this week and easy Sunday dinner for tonight. Okay, so we've got kind of that covered so nothing's dry. We got that. Okay, now we're gonna put our mozzarella cheese on top. I'm just using regular. The recipe calls for fat-free. I'm not a fan of fat-free cheese. Mozzarella is not going to kill you. And we'll put the other half over here. It's already a light cheese as it is. All right, then we've got our breadcrumbs. I melted some um, light butter and our breadcrumbs and we're just gonna put this on top for a little crumb toppling. Topping, like so. There goes my cat trying to go down the basement door there. And this is gonna be delish. And I think we cook it for 40 minutes on 350 on our oven. Put some over here. Okay, just trying to make it half and half the best that I can here. I'm not about to get out and weigh all this stuff. You guys can, but I don't have time to do all that. Okay, so there it is. Let me see if you can get a close up of this. Here is our casserole. I'm gonna put this in the oven, 40 minutes on 350, bake it up and I'll show you how I plate it. All right, guys, got my iced coffee my husband just surprised me with. He just ran out, I'm so excited. So I've got that meal prep is done couple of takeaways that I learned from making this from for the first time is this casserole dish is six servings. To tell you the truth, I think it should be four servings. That's just my opinion. I don't think it's enough food to make six servings. So I'm going to make it into four servings and count more points. I think it's going to end up being six for me on the green plan instead of four, which is just fine. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. Again, the points, if you if you do the six servings, it's two only two points on purple three points on blue and four on green. It's already low point. So if, if making six servings out of this is not enough, make it into four, it might be better for you. So here's Sunday dinner for us. I've got my meal preps for the week. I just added some extra steamed broccoli that I had on the side, Use the rest of that up. I've got my lunches, so I am good to go. I also wanted to let you guys know, if in case I don't get a chance to tell you guys, I'm switching my weigh-in days to Saturdays. I've had them on Wednesdays for a while. And by the way, uh, this week I'm up two ounces. I never did do a video this week. I've just been really busy with work and kids and back to school and all kinds of stuff. But I'm up two ounces this week, which is kind of like a wash. But I'm going to start doing my weekly weigh-ins on Saturdays because I just happen to just get too busy on Wednesdays to film a quick little video. Saturdays, I'm always more free on weekends. So switching those to Saturdays. And um, thank you so much, Sharon, for this suggestion for this casserole. I think you're really gonna like it. The first takeaway is you might wanna make it four servings. And the other one is make sure you pepper it up so it's not bland. So if I were to make this all over again, I'd even add more pepper. My husband even said maybe even a little bit of paprika would be good too. You just wanna make sure it's flavored. So flavor with any seasoning that you like just to you know jazz it up a little bit. Otherwise it could be bland, but it is really, really good. That fresh broccoli gives it good flavor. The creamy sauce is delicious. So this is a great one. So thank you again, Sharon. Thank you so much for watching. 
Give this video a thumbs up if you like my Sunday meal prep videos. Don't forget to subscribe and join my channel. And I'm wishing you guys a great week and hope everyone's healthy and happy and doing good out there. I'll see you soon. Bye.